Hello and welcome back for the second part of our spruce barn tutorial. In the first part we made the building and so now we'll be doing the interior and the material list in the first video had everything you needed for that part and this part. Alright so for this interior we're going to be starting on the left side here. We're going to go in over here and we're going to start with trap doors on the edges of the doorway. So we're going to go up five, flip them all up, go up five on the other side, flip them all up. So just like that, and then we'll have some on the left and right of the windows. And now we're going to start our crop sections in here. So from the center, this is the center of the room for me. We'll go over one, two, and three. On the third, we'll place it. So the same in the other direction, one, two, and three. So there should be a space of five in the center between them. So now we're going to bring it out two more. Then we're going to use a spruce stripped log. Then we're going to go over three this direction. And then we're going to use two cobblestone stairs and then three more stone bricks, just like that. And we're going to put some dirt in the middle. It can be dirt or grass or whatever. It's going to be turned to farmland afterwards. It's going to be for your crops. So we're going to be skipping the third block over from the middle row right here. That's going to be where water is. And we're going to be skipping this one as well. Third from the other direction as well. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So we're going to bring this out two. We're going to put our spruce strip log. We're going to put three stone brick pieces, two cobblestone stairs, and then another three stone brick pieces. And now we're going to put our dirt in here. So we're going to go one, two, three, one, two, three, and then we'll do skip the middle one. And then one, two, three, one, two, three, and skip the middle one, and then fill in the rest. So I added a couple lanterns back and now we're going to be doing the ground. So you're going to have to get rid of all the ground. And you'll get rid of it up to this point right here. So between these oak pillars because the door would shut here and then you wouldn't see that. So that would be the outside technically. So everything else on the inside you need to get rid of. Dig up. And I'm going to do a mix of board dirt and spruce planks. If you want, you can do that too, or you can just use spruce plank if you don't like coarse dirt with it, if you feel like it doesn't look good. It's up to you. So I'm going to be starting on the left side. Now I'll do a plank, a dirt, a dirt, a plank, two planks, plank, dirt. We're going to bring the dirt down three, and then the planks on the other side. Then planks like that diagonally, and then the dirt in the other spaces. Two more planks. Uh, we're going to bring the planks across to that point of the doorway and fill them in there. I'm going to do a dirt right here, a plank, two dirt, another plank, dirt for four, and then a plank, and then planks all the way to almost the end. We're going to bring planks all across this way. We're going to put a dirt down on this end, and then a plank, and then two more dirt, and then two more planks. I'm going to do a dirt on the right, two, oh, that's not the right, left, two planks on the right, <laughs> planks for one, two, three, four on the left, dirt for two on the right, planks for two on the right, dirt in both those spots, planks for everything except for this left corner. So that's how I did mine. You can just do it random. You can mirror it to the other side. It's up to you. You don't have to do it if you don't like it. So now we're going to add in barrels. There's going to be two barrels on each of the ends. We're going to put in composters on both sides right here. We're going to put in some chests. And then we're going to have a ladder. It's going to go up three in the center here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add mossy cobblestone. So we're going to go a full block in the corners there and a full block on the other end corners as well. And then the other spaces, we're going to have slabs, except above the log and above your stairs, because you want to go up the stairs. So then for your log, you're going to go up one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. 
Now attached to this fourth one up here, we're going to bring stone bricks all the way across to the wall. Just like that. And then it'll come one over this direction. And then we're going to do the same dirt that we did down below. So we're going to go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, leave a space, and then the other one. One, two, three, one, two, three, one with a space, one, two, two, three, and then one, two, three. And then in the center there is where your water is going to go. And it should just go straight down. It shouldn't pour out anywhere. It should just go like that. And then when you feel like it, you can turn that into farmland. And so these other spaces, these are going to be stairs right there. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So it's going to be brick. There's going to be two stairs. There's going to be brick going all the way across. And then we're going to fill in our dirt and leave the same gaps as below. So we're going to go have two columns, and then we'll have a space in the third one. Go across two more, have a space in the third one. And then go across to the end. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add some spruce slabs. So it'll be a layer lower than these stairs. So the top of the layer lower, and it'll be one over, just like that. And we'll bring it out four. And we'll do it just there too, so there will be a gap of one in the middle. And then we're going to have trap doors along the edges here. So it'll be one, two, three, four. And on the other side it'll be the same. It'll be one, two, three, four. And then in the middle we're going to do three. And then we're going to have this back one facing this way, so it's just easier to get up and down the ladder. So now on this layer out here we're going to add a chest right here. We're going to put a barrel right here, and we'll do the same on the other side. It's just some storage for you. You can set it up different if you want to. On this outer edge, we're going to attach a trap door to the barrel. Same on this side, to the lower part of the barrel. If I can get it in the right spot, that kind of finicky. And so then I'm going to add some blocks here temporarily to add the trapdoors across here too. Get rid of the temporary blocks. And so over here, we're going to bring our stroop, our stroop, yep, that's the word I meant, our spruce stripped log up one. We're going to bring up the mossy cobblestone as the trim along this as well. And in the corner, we're going to do a full block. And so we'll do the same on this side. And so we're going to add some trap doors just on top of these pillars right here, the spruce pillars, just for a little finishing touch. And we'll have some lanterns. I'm going to put mine directly above where these stairs are, and then directly above the corner. So above the stairs here, in the corner over here, um, down in the lower layer. We're going to add our lanterns too. They'll be in the corners down here as well. So we'll add one here as well just to get a few more in there. And we'll do the same on the other side down here. Then we can get rid of our temporary ones. Okay, so all that's left to do is to fill in your crops, and I already did that. I put potatoes on the bottom and wheat on the top, and I think it looks super cool. So this room's done. Uh, if you don't like this waterfall look, you could always just put water in the bottom and then put trap doors or spruce slabs along the bottom of this upper layer. And then you could cover that up if you don't like how that looks. Okay, so now we'll be starting on the main barn building. We're going to be going for the windows right away and adding spruce trap doors to both sides because that's all we're doing to all these windows. So you can do that to all of them. And for that last part that we did, you're just going to be able to copy that to the other side. So it's just going to be mirrored on both sides. So you can just go back and watch it twice. So now that we added all the 
trap doors to all the windows. We're going to be starting by making the pens. So we're going to start with a barrel right there on each side next to the oak logs. And then we're going to bring more oak wood and we're going to go up one, two, three. And then we're going to do the same on the other side. We're going to go up one, two, three. And we're going to put a mossy cobblestone slab on the top. Now there's going to be a space of five in between here. And then we're going to put another barrel. And then there's going to be a space of one and we'll put another barrel. So on top of both of these barrels, we're going to go up another three with oak. And then we're going to add the mossy cobblestone slab to the top. So we're going to go up three with oak wood. And then slab to the top. And now between these, we're going to have a spruce pillar, strip spruce, and it's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then at the top of that, there's going to be a barrel. Now to the side here, we're going to continue it. So it's going to go across now. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, and six all the way to the end. And we'll put a lantern under that. And so now we're going to have our wall continue here. So it's going to be the same pattern as that wall. So we're going to go oak now. One, two, three, four. Strip spruce for one, two, three, four. Oak for one, two, three, four. Spruce. Oak. And spruce again. And then we're going to put this lining across the top with the cobblestone, with the mossy cobblestone. So now we're going to do the same on the other side. We're going to have a gap of five. We're going to have our oak barrel. We're going to have strip spruce in the middle. And then we'll have another another oak barrel. We'll have our oak wood going up three. We'll have our mossy slab. We'll have our oak wood going up three on this side too. We'll have our mossy slab. We'll have our spruce pillar coming up another one, two, three, four, five, six. And then up here we'll have our barrel and then we'll attach the strip spruce going all the way across here. And in the center, we'll put another lantern and then we'll bring it all the way across, all the way across this way. Add a lantern on this end. We'll continue our pattern. And we'll bring these all up four. Well, four total, three more. And they should all be even, so. Mossy cobblestone on the top. And so this is our first pen here. We're going to go spruce fence. We're going to go fence gates. And then we'll put two spruce fence on the top on each side too. So just like that. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. We'll go fence gate, fence, fence gate, fence, fence gate. Two fences on the top on each side. And so then you'll have this space to open and go through. We're going to put some torches in here, but we're going to put them on top of fences. So we're going to go three from the end. So one, two, and then the third. And then we're going to go up three. So one, two, and then three. And then we're going to put the torches on top of those. And we're going to do it at the same point on the other side. So three over and three up. And then the torch on top of it. And we'll do the same in this other side on the inside of the other pen. And we're going to do these in the center of these pillars too. So it'll be up the same distance. It'll be up three, but it'll be in the center of the pillar. Now this is essentially just going to be a repeated pattern. We're going to add another pillar though up here. So it's going to be one, two, three, and then the fourth is where it will be. So then it'll go all the way across. Just like that. And then we're going to put trap doors on it. So we're going to do two trap doors on every side except for the top. So it'll look just like that. And then we'll do the same on the other end.
And so what we're going to do now is we're going to set up all of our different pens. And then you can just copy what we did here to all of those. So we're going to go down. We're going to have a space of another five. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to put our two barrels. We're going to put our strip spruce log in the middle there. We're going to do the same thing across on the other side. So it'll be five from here. And we'll do our two barrels, our spruce in the middle. We're going to have another five here. And this one down here is going to be different. So there's going to be a barrel. But then there's also going to be a barrel diagonally from it. So this direction. And we'll do the same on the other side. So it'll be like that. Because this will be a bigger pen. This will be for cows probably or whatever you want more of. So this is going to go up another one, two, three. And same on this barrel. So one, two, three. And then we'll put our mossy cobble on the top. We'll do the same on the other side. We'll go one, two, three. One, two, three. Mossy cobble on the top. So we're going to continue going on here with our wall pattern. So we'll go our strip spruce, our oak, strip spruce, oak, strip spruce, oak, strip spruce. Same with the other side. We'll go strip, oak, strip, oak, stripped, oak, and stripped. And so our pillars here will go up one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then you'll have your barrel on the top. This one will go up another six. And then you'll have your barrel on the top. You'll connect it going across. We'll add our lanterns. So this is kind of your pattern. So we'll raise up this pillar now. We'll do this one. And we'll put the barrel on the top. So it'll go up another one, two, three, four, five, six, and then put the barrel on the top. And then this one will go up another one, two, three, four, five, six, and put the barrel on the top. And then we'll have our oak ones going up here. We'll have our mossy cobblestone on top of those. We're going to put in our fences now. So it'll be gate, fence, gate, fence, and then gate. Two fences along the top of those on both sides. We'll do the same here, starting with the gates, then the fences, and then two on each side. Gates, fences, two on each side. And then same for this last one here. And then the other one is going to be different again because there's not as much space down there. So this, it's up to you. You can either put three gates and maybe you can have like horses in here. I'm just going to do it like this. I'm going to put one gate in the middle and two fences on each end. So three up right here, we're going to put a fence and then we're going to put a torch on top of that. Same on the other side. So on the inside of this bigger pen, we're going to do, well, we're going to lift our walls real quick. We're going to put our cobblestone going along the, the top. Lift the walls on this side. Cobblestone along the top. And so we're going to have some lights here too. So it'll be three up and it'll be along this main spruce pillar here that goes tall. And then the other one will be three up and three away from the end. So it'll be one, two, three. And then we'll put the torch on top of it. And we'll do the same on the opposite side. So they should be lined up. So like this. And then we'll just copy it down on this end. So one from the end, three from the end. Put the torches on top. And then same on the opposite side. 
Should be able to take out our lanterns now, since that's our light. The grass is going to kind of be a mess. I'm going to do some messy things. So in this section, we'll add some hay bales. So we'll go two right there, and that's four from the left side. And we'll have one sticking out here, one sticking out that way. In this corner, we'll put one facing like that, and then one next to it like that. And then when you're facing this direction, it'll be two over from the side. So the third one, we'll put one there, we'll put one next to it, put one above it sticking out. And in the corner here we'll put another two and we'll do something like that. We're going to finish adding in all the beams across our ceiling. So what we're going to do first is we're going to do all the barrel ones. So we're going to connect all the barrels. So it goes straight across the wall. We're going to add our lanterns. That's not a lantern. In the corners and in the center. And so that's all those beams. So then we're going to do some more of these beams. So we'll just do them directly in the center of the other ones is how it'll be. So it'll be right here in the center of these two. And then we'll put our trap doors on all sides. And it'll be going out two. So there'll be two trap doors on each side attaching to the wall. Same with this end. And then we'll do it in the center here. So there, it'll be the fourth one away from the sides. We'll have the trap doors on each side. Do the same down here. And then over here, we're going to put our last beam going across the top, and it's going to be one, two, three, and then four away. We're going to go all the way across. And then we're going to put our trap doors. Okay, so now we're going to move on to finishing up these walls that we have here. So. We're going to raise this other wall here. So it'll be oak, spruce, oak, spruce, oak, and spruce. We'll raise it up three more after that. We'll put our mossy cobble along the top. We'll do the same on this other side. Raise them up. Mossy across the top. We'll add more of our torches here in the center. Three off the top. We'll add our torches inside the pens. So three from the side and three up on both sides. Get rid of our temporary lantern. Do the same on this side. Get rid of our temporary lantern. Do the same on this side. Three over, three up. Same in here. Now, how you set these up, what you put inside them, depends on what kind of animals you want to put in there, probably. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have these right three for sheep. This front left one is going to be for chickens, so I don't really have anything that's going in there. And then these other two on the left here are for cow or are for pigs. And then the one at the end is for cows. So, on these right ones, I'm just going to put some hay. So, I'm going to put in the corner one. I'm going to have one facing that way, like that, and like that. And that's going to be the whole thing in here. 
Now in these front two sections, we're going to have ladders going up. So it's going to go up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And it'll be on this, this first oak beam in the pen because it's going to go up to the loft above. And we'll do the same in this pen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So just like that. And so now in this second pen on the right, I'm going to put some hay here as well. In the corner back there, just like that. And the third one on the right, we're going to also put some hay in this corner. Just like that. You can do it however you want. It's not a huge deal. So we already did the one for our cows. And now we're going to do the ones for our pigs. And I know this isn't an exact. Some of you might not like it. You don't have to do it. But I'm going to put these kind of for like carrots. And I'll put them just like that. And I'll put trap doors around all the sides. So it'll be kind of like in a feeding trough. And I'll do the same in this one. I'm going to put them in the back. And so just like that, we can get rid of our last temporary lantern. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to get the ceiling in here because there will be a loft space above. So right above this beam, there will be a pillar that goes all the way across in the corner, just like this. There will be strip spruce. You'll bring it all the way to the end. And so now another, what is this, six, three, six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we'll bring this all the way across. And so it should line up above those barrels. And so now it'll be another five over. So one, two, three, four, five. And then the sixth. And then another one down at the end right here. And so between all of them, there should be a gap of five. And so now what we're going to do is on the top layer, we'll have spruce slabs going all the way across along each pillar. So there'll be top half slabs. And then we'll do it attached to this one. And then we'll do one in the center as well. And we'll do the same with all these other sides. So I'll let you copy it in a second. The other thing we're going to do is in these gaps, we're going to add trap doors. So we'll bring them all the way down to here the end. We're going to go one from the end here because we're going to put a different direction above the ladder so that it opens easier so it's not in your way. Just like that. And then we'll finish by going all the way across. And so now this is something you will just repeat two more times in both of these spaces. So you can pause and do that. So this is how this floor up here should be looking now that we're done. And then we're going to go down. You can obviously take the ladder. And so down here I added in a mix of the dirt path block and some coarse dirt. You can kind of pause and copy mine if you want, but it's really up to you. It's just a kind of like texturing, like the floor is muddy. And for the sheet pen, I have a good mix of grass. So this is how mine looks. And the second one, because they'll obviously need to eat the grass. So I made sure that I put some under the fence too, so that it can spread back over there if they eat at all. So those are my sheep pens. And this big one at the end is the cow pen. So I put some coarse dirt, some dirt paths, some grass in here. And then over here for the pigs, I put in some of the podzel to get that kind of muddy look. 
and then the other pig pen, and then the chicken one. And once you have these done however you want them, then you're free to add in some grass and put all your animals in there because we're done with this layer. So now we'll be moving on up to the loft space. And so what we're going to do up here is we're going to have some crop spaces. So we're going to start over here in the front left corner and we're going to go four over. We're going to put a stone brick. We're going to go another one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then we're going to go one more over. And then we're going to have three cobblestone stairs. Then we're going to have a stone brick, two more. And then it's going to connect to the wall. So just like that. We're going to go a space of two over. And we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to bring it out to the same distance. We're going to go over one. We're going to have three stairs. We're going to go over another two, and then we're going to connect to the wall. And then we're going to do one more over here. So we'll do a space of two. Bring it all the way out to the same distance. Have one, have three stairs, have two more, and attach the wall. And then there should be a space of three left over here when you're done. And we're going to do the same on this opposite side. So we're going to go three from the first wall, and then on the fourth one we'll put our block. And we'll come all the way out. We'll come out three, six, and seven. And then we'll go over one. And then we'll have three stairs. We'll have two more stone. And then we'll attach it to the wall. We'll have our space of two. We'll bring it out seven. We'll go over one. And then we'll have three stairs. We'll have two more stone. We'll attach to the wall. Over two, attach to the wall. Bring it out to the same distance. Over one three stairs, over another two, and attach to the wall. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to, in the corners, bring it up with a mossy cobblestone block. And then all the spaces except the stairs, we're going to add slabs above. So we're going to have bricks along all the walls. the back here as well. So we'll do that for all these. And so now we're going to go back to our first one that we were starting and we're going to add the slabs along the top of the back as well. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to fill this whole thing with farmland except for the center. So the center will be water, but you don't want to you don't want to put it down on the block, you want to put it on the side of your dirt blocks because you don't want it to waterlog that block and then spill out everywhere down at the bottom. So I'm just going to add farmland, but you can obviously just add dirt or grass and then hoe it. And so it should look like that. And then directly in the center, along the back, we're going to put a lantern. So we can't put it on this block because it's a slab, so we'll put it right here. And so now what we're going to do is we're just going to repeat that to the other five that we have left. So you can pause and do that. All right, so this is how you should be looking now. And the only other thing that I added is I added this spruce trap door on the top of the water and then a lantern on top of that. And so you can fill your crops in with whatever you want. I'll do it in a second. So now this first, this is the front of the building. This side is the front. So what we're going to do here with this window is we're going to put trap doors on the sides just like this, not lined up with the window, one over from the window. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then we're going to flip them all up. And then we're going to do the same on the other side. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Flip them all up. And then we're going to put slabs, spruce slabs, right above the window like that. We'll put a lantern hanging from the center one. And then we'll put spruce slabs right below the window as well. And we're going to put barrels down underneath in those six spots. So just like that. We're going to put barrels along these pillars. So one, two. We're going to put a chest in the corner. We're going to put composters, two of them to the left of that, and then we'll put a chest there. 
Did I say chest for the corner? The crafting table. And then we'll put a lantern on top of that. We're going to put some shelves right here. We're going to put a lantern there. And we're going to put two pots. One on each side. And then we'll put a chest in the center. And so you can put whatever you want in the pots. I'm going to put a fern. And a spruce sapling. And so we're going to go over to this other side. We're going to put two barrels here as well. Crafting table in the corner. It should just look the same as the other side. So we're going to have a shelf. It's going to be two off from there. We're going to put our lantern. We're going to put our pots right there. Two of them right next to each other. And so we're going to put a spruce sapling there. A fern there. And I'll put a chest in the corner there. And so that side is done. We're going to go down to all these spaces in between. We're going to put two chests at the end. I want this place to be kind of open. I don't want it to feel cramped. So if you want to put more stuff in these in-between places, you can. It's up to you. So now down here on this end, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to planks or uh, slabs. And we're going to put one, two, three right out along the bottom of this. We're going to put one, two, three right along the top of it, and we're going to put a lantern in the middle. And so on the sides, again, we're going to do the spruce trap doors. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, flip them all up. And then we'll do the same on the other side. And we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, flip them all up. And now we're going to add some stuff in these corners. So two over from this. So if we include this piece that the trap door is on, so it'll be one over. So there'll be a barrel. And then next to that will be another barrel. Here in this back corner, we're going to do some hay. So we're going to put two right there. We're going to put one on each side. We're going to have some in all the diagonal pieces. We're going to put another shelf here. This one's going to be a little bit longer. It's going to be six long. And so it's going to be just like that. It'll be two above. We're going to put a pot there. We're going to put a chest there. We're going to put a lantern. And then we're going to put two more pots. And so here we'll put a spruce. Here we'll put a fern. And here we'll put another fern. So now on this corner, we're going to put some more hay in the corner. So we're going to go one and two. We're going to put another one on top of that. Another one on top of that, one facing this way, one facing up, and then another facing this way. We're going to have some barrels next to it, so there will be a gap of one. And then we'll have another one on the trap door, and then we'll have a chest next to that, just to switch it up a little. We're going to have our shelf right here. It will be six long. We'll have a chest on the top. We'll have two pots. We'll have a lantern. We'll have another chest. And then in the pots, we will have a fern and a spruce sapling. I'm just trying to keep it simple since it is sort of supposed to be a starter space. But aside from adding your crops, this space is done. So I'm going to get rid of all these temporary lanterns. And for me, on the left side, I'm going to do carrots. And on the right side, I'm going to do wheat. So it's up to you what you want to do. It's your place. It's your crops that you need. And so this is how they turned out with those last few details added in. And so that's it. We finished the exterior and the interior of the barn. So thanks everyone for watching. And especially thanks to anyone who watched the whole thing. I know that it's long and I'm working on trying to make them a bit quicker and build faster. So I appreciate any and all support on the videos. And you're all lovely. And so I'll see you in the next one. Bye.